Now let's talk organization. If you just opened Notability for the first time today, all of your notes are probably just sitting in unfiled notes. That's okay. Now we're going to do some organization. And look at my notes view. So you can see I have two dividers, one called divider and one called professional learning. And then within the dividers, I have subjects. So subject is under divider. And then under professional learning, I have a TCEA subject and I have a help subject. Within those subjects, I then have my notes. So if I tap on help, you can see I have one note within help and that's the welcome note that comes with notability. If I go to my subject, subject, you can see all the rest of my notes. To create new subjects and dividers, at the top of your screen, directly above this panel, you should see a plus sign. Tap on that plus sign, and then tap either on create subject or create divider. So I can create a new subject called math. I can have a subject for science, social studies, etc. Or I can create dividers plus and create a divider and have a divider for each of my subjects. And then within the divider, my subjects would be the different units of study or different topics that I might want to fill my notes into. You can edit the names and colors by tapping on the edit button at the top. Then tap on the gear symbol next to the divider or subject you would like to rename or recolor. You can also lock the subject or delete the subject. If you choose lock, it allows you to create a password protection so that somebody would have to have the password to be able to enter that subject. When you're done, tap close. Then you can reorder your dividers and or your subjects around by tapping on the three lines next to them. To move notes into another subject or divider, you have to be in this edit mode. And then if you push and hold on a note, you can then drag it to a new topic and let go. And that's how you can rearrange your notes. So again, push and hold, drag over to where you want to drop it, and it can only be dropped inside of subjects, not dividers, and then let go. If you notice the trash can and the duplicate buttons, you can only do those to actual notes. So if I needed to delete my student activity in Google Classroom note, I can tap on it and tap the delete button at the top. If I needed to duplicate my tween tribune note, I would tap edit, tap on the note and tap duplicate. And it would make a copy. I can also delete the notes by swiping off to the, to the right hand side and swiping left to get the delete option and then tapping on the trash can. Press and swipe to the left to delete a subject or a divider from the list as well. Organization is key in Notability because you can very quickly gain a lot of notes in a very short amount of time. So dividers and subjects are going to become your best friend.